Welcome back to Scottish Movies, and it's time to go through everything I've picked up this week and everything I've had delivered. Let's get started. Right then, so I'm going to start this week with uh, the delivery, and yeah, this is just one delivery this week, and if you've seen the thumbnail, uh, you've probably guessed what it might be, and yeah, it's everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, pick this up, uh, this is the US um, 4K, um, I picked this up with my uh, remaining Amazon vouchers, I think it cost about 23 quid. Um, yeah, I didn't fancy going for the uh, the German or French editions, uh, only because I wasn't sure if the subtitles would be um, in English or not. I don't know. Um, comment down below if you know that they are. But um, yeah, I thought I'm just going to go for the US one. I know the Blu-ray in this probably won't play. Well, not play on my machine. Green Region Eight. I've not got a region uh, free machine. But obviously, only really what the 4K. So uh, yeah, happy with that. Hey, this is my film of the year last year. I absolutely love this film. Um, look forward to watching it again in 4K. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, everything everywhere all at once. Um, I move on to the uh, the pickups throughout the week. Uh, firstly, uh, I did get some subscriber mail this week from uh, Jim Jam Movies and TV. Uh, he sent me a full metal jacket, the uh, Warner Brothers um, Essential War Collection uh, DVD. So that was great, um, and also I did a video uh, of some lunchtime pickups earlier this week as well. I'm not going to go through them again because we'll go back and watch that video. And the next couple, uh, I actually went out uh, on, on a lunch on a late lunch break uh, yesterday, being Friday, um, and I did pick up a, a, a couple of titles. Um, first thing I picked up is a. Film starring Rene Russo, I believe this is from the 90s. Uh, and the only reason I picked this up is he says it's from Jim, Jim Henson Pictures, who obviously made the Muppets. And I don't know anything about it, but it's called Buddy. And maybe it's about some sort of ape or something. Or I don't, I don't really know, but I just saw Jim Henson. I thought um, I'll grab that. It was, it was technically 25p, so yeah, happy to pick that up. Uh, the next thing I picked up. Uh, so I did actually get four. Um, uh, the other ones was I got. I think I picked up another film that was a Blu-ray that I'd already got, so I just got it for a spare case. And the other thing was a, a PlayStation Two game. Um, I can't remember what it was now, but it, it doesn't really trade for anything. I just picked up. I thought I'd just pick it up for twenty five p. But yeah, the uh, the next one I picked up was a Blu-ray. Um, and I've never, I can't, I've never actually owned this. Um, I've kind of uh, forgot I didn't have it in my collection and I've seen it on the shelf. And it was White House Down with Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx. Um, I remember this being pretty good. I remember liking this more than probably Olympus has fallen. Um, but yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen it, but come with a nice slip. And uh, yeah, uh, happy to add that to the collection for 25p. Uh, and that. Moves me on to today, um, being Saturday. Uh, I went back to me four for a quid shop, but as I'd only been yesterday, there wasn't anything new out. You know, it was all the same stuff. So uh, I checked out my local Bernardo's, and uh, I managed to get a five for a pound in Bernardo's today. Uh, yeah, the first thing I picked up is a movie from actually from the eighties. I think it's from about eighty-eight. Uh, and it's probably the sort of thing I used to watch late night on Sky when I was probably a teenager for a couple of reasons. Because uh, it stars someone called Cheryl and Fenn. And also Richard Tyson, who I believe was the, the bad guy in K Kindergarten Cop. But yeah, this was called Two Moon Junction. Yeah, it's basically one of these other erotic thrillers. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll uh, pick that up and into the 80s collection. Um, yeah, it, 88 it was, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to watch that kind of thing when I was a teenager like you do. Um, it's 
Speaking of that kind of thing, I've found another one as well. Uh, this is a sequel to an 80s film. This is actually from the 90s, though. I didn't even know this existed. It's probably garbage, but um, this is a sequel to an 80s film. It's like Mickey Rourke, and this is another nine and a half weeks. Uh, remember the first at nine and a half weeks starred uh, Kim Basinger as well, um, and a very famous scene involving food. But uh, yeah, um, I thought I'd grab this one for exactly 20p. I didn't even know that it existed, so I say it's probably garbage, but yeah, there you go. Uh, next one I picked up. Uh, is a film I wasn't sure if I had or not um, and it turns out I don't um, and it's part 5 of the Highlander series and this is Highlander the Source I think this stars is Adrian Paul the guy that took over in the TV series I think it's Adrian Paul yeah I've, I've not actually seen this I've, I've, I'll be honest I've only actually seen two Highlander films um, and I'll see the first one being the best and, and although it gets slated I actually quite remember quite enjoying the second one but yeah I have got um, is it Highlander 3 the Sorcerer and I've got um, what's the other one is it Endgame I think it's called uh, but yeah it turns out I didn't have this one so grab that the 2AP next up is a, a little box set uh, which uh, I'm going to actually trade to CX because uh, I've got all these on Blu-ray, and it's the Terminator Quadrilogy. So this has got Terminator, Terminator 2, Terminator 3, and Terminator Salvation. Well, this actually trades to CX for £1.50, so it's like a what £1.30 profit there. Um, so, yeah, as as I always say, it's, it's all adds up in the end. So, yeah, that's, that's going to CX. Um, and the final pick-up today is... Uh, an Alfred Hitchcock film, which I didn't have. Um, you may have seen a few videos back. I, I got a big Alfred Hitchcock DVD box set. Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't wasn't sure if this might have been on there. But it turns out it's not. So it's yet another one uh, they didn't own. And uh, again, I've not seen it either. And this is uh, called Rebecca. So it says, actually, winner of two Academy Awards. Um, what did it win for, does it say? It was actually the best picture in 1940. So, yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, so that's Alfred Cox, Rebecca. And, uh, yeah, that is basically all the pickups for this week and this, this, this weekend. Um, yeah, comment down below uh, if you pick any of these, these titles up. Um, also comment uh, what your film of 2022 was. Um, as I say, mine was Everything Everywhere All at Once. Um, but yeah, comment down below what, what your movie of 2022 was. Uh, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for some more pickups. Bye, guys.